Hey everyone, Eric from Teachers Talking Tech, and I'm here to talk to you about yet another awesome update brought to you by our friends at Seesaw. Um, so this summer, Seesaw added a new creative canvas. It was a big update that they did. I have a whole video about it. They'll tell you about the new pens and a lot of the changes, including also the ability to add multiple pictures within a post. Really nice way to free up how kids are using Seesaw. Uh, when you're able to add multiple pictures, all of a sudden it really changes the game of the kind of activities that you can do with kids. Now, we're in the second week of September, and Seesaw has just introduced another update, which is multi-page support. So you'll notice over here on the side, you can see that I have a page here, and I can actually add a second, third, fourth page. This is amazing, but anyway, let me tell you a little bit more about it. It's pretty simple. You can close and reopen those pages to see them and kind of skip around. I like that too, because as you close that, it gives you your space back to see all of your tools, okay? And then on each page, you have the ability to either duplicate a page or delete it, okay? So let's try this out. Let's say that I wanted my kids to retell a story that they had read. I could label one of these uh, beginning, or they could. And then they could add pictures from the beginning and record their voice and tell about it. Then they could go to the second page. And this could be the middle. They could tell what happened there, add pictures, emojis, whatever they wanted. And then they could go to the last one, and this could be the end. Okay? So you're able to do on each one of these, you can add uh, all the things you could before. Multiple pictures. You could record your voice. You can add text on each one, draw on all these things, and it keeps them all separate. So let's say that my kids finish this, right? When they turn it in, just like they would before. And here's how it shows up for parents and for everyone else in the class to see the post. They can go ahead and slide between the different pages. It does not play them automatically. This would not be what you'd want to do for a slideshow or anything like that. Um, but it almost could be like a book. There's just a lot of possibilities, which I think Seesaw, their whole um, idea with this was to really free up the constraints of how kids share um, what they're learning about. So really great. Now, another thing I can think of with this is with Seesaw Activities. So in Seesaw Activities, you create an activity that your kids will do and turn back into you. So before, you were hampered by just one picture. And, you know, if you wanted to do something with multiple steps, you could not do that. With this, the nice thing is if I wanted to post uh, something for my students to do, I could post multiple pages here. So maybe each page would have a different direction for kids to build on. Maybe I would want to do all my vowels so I could, you know, put the letter A up here. And I could have my students find emojis or talk about different things that have, or draw things that have the letter A. Then I could add another one and have it be E, I, O, U. You get the idea. But when I create that like that and share it with my kids as an activity, they can go page by page. They can complete the activity and turn it back into me. I also think that that is a huge game changer. I also like this update because there are a lot of different apps um, that I have had to buy to make up for the fact that Seesaw could not do these things. I love that this is all built into Seesaw because it's less that you have to learn as a new staff member Less that you have to train people on if you are your district tech coach, right? Uh, so it's just easier and all in one spot, which I just love. So that is the latest Seesaw update. I should say if you don't see this update, there could be a couple reasons. Number one is you need to update your app if you're on iOS or Android, okay? Another reason um, that you may not see this is that this feature is going to come with the paid version of Seesaw. So if you have Seesaw Plus, which I think runs about $100 a year, uh, or you have Seesaw for schools, which is when your school or district pays for Seesaw, you will get this. If you want to try it out, I know that you can sign up for three months free of Seesaw Plus. You could try this out, see if it's useful for you and your students. You could actually get extra months of Seesaw Plus uh, if you find Seesaw Ambassadors online. Um, they can give you a code so that you have a little longer to try it out. I think Seesaw is worth paying for, uh, even if your school is not paying for it, just because this could be a one-stop shop for you and your teaching. Uh, we all know budgets are tight, uh, but really this could be 
just the all-encompassing app that will do anything you need to do to show your students learning. All right, well, hopefully this video is helpful. Great update by Seesaw. Zerk for Teachers Talking Tech. See ya.